Hello, my name is Fuddings, and I've been asked what are the main differences going from virtual reality into real life equipment. Well, one thing, of course, is that I couldn't put my hand through the deck. And I also had to notice that I could easily touch buttons that I didn't want to touch. Um, the second thing is, well, I'm used to having a large interface system where I can select my songs and now I had an interface on a touch screen. It was a bit of getting used to, but finding a perfect workflow immediately got me to start mixing from one track to another. It was also easy to find my own playlist uh, that I had set up with Recordbox. Recordbox for Tribe and then Recordbox for real life equipment. So that being said, the only thing I didn't knew was that I had set some memory cues at certain uh, points in my tracks as a marker. But memory cues act as a starting cue. So when I loaded in tracks, it immediately snapped to the first memory cue. And well, I knew now, so next time I definitely gonna put memory cues at the beginning of the track. Uh, another thing that I love about Tribe is that I can uh, press A that will snap back the button that I'm using. So for instance, if I'm using ColorFX, if I press A, it snaps back to zero, so it turns off. And you don't have that on real life equipment, so you really have to watch out by turning the knob back to zero and also keeping a close eye that everything is set to zero because otherwise you will hear effects on top of songs. Well, and another crazy difference, of course, is audience. Um, real life audience, large sound systems. Um, I think personally that if you can do a one hour set in Tribe and you want to do this in real life on the same equipment, Go do it and go experience the real life party because it's awesome!